Hey friend, I want to share with you a story that has really become a mantra for my life and the way that I'm living it right now, which is to be the buffalo. It's my little temporary tattoo for right now from my therapist. So in Colorado, if you've ever driven um, from the east to the west through Colorado and Denver, you'll see that it goes from this flat to just shoots up to the Rockies. It's really quite beautiful. It's also really different and allows for cows and buffaloes to be in the same area, which is not the norm. So when a storm rolls in, in this area in Colorado, it's usually rolling in over the mountains and it's coming fast. And so the cows see that storm and they think, okay, this is just natural cows. They run away from the storm. So storms here, cows running that way to get away from the storm. But we all know, are cows fast? <laughs> no, they are not fast. So they end up being in that storm much longer than they need to because the storm is just like following them. So they kind of make it through the entire storm and they're just working so hard to get through it. Whereas the opposite, the buffalo, who, you know, I don't know a ton about except for this one beautiful fact that when they see the storm coming over those mountains, they don't turn and run. They run towards the storm. And what that does is it allows the storm to come. And as they run towards it, they actually move through it quicker. So it's hard. It's still hard for them, just like it is for the cow, but it's much, much less time spent in that storm. And so how in the world is this a mantra for my life? How in the world is be the buffalo a good thing? Ugh. Okay, let's think about life. There's all these life... Um, let's just call it crap. The crap that comes into our life, these trials, whatever you want to call them, uh, we can absolutely avoid them. I've done that. I did that for 15 years of my marriage. We danced around the storm. I tiptoed this way. I danced that way. And guess what? My body still kept the score. My body still kept all of that pain and that sorrow, that emotion, that anger. It was still stuck inside of me. And for some, that can create a lot of dis-ease or disease and pain. And for me, it just <laughs> made me crazy, really. And I, um, I felt so different about myself when I wasn't allowing myself to, one, feel, but to also just, like, accept what is and move through it. And so when I say, be the buffalo, I am definitely not saying, just, like, push through things and, like, do all the things and take on all the things because that's what a buffalo does. They're strong and they can do that. No, if anything, it's the opposite. It's what I'm doing right now for myself is I'm being the buffalo. I'm seeking a therapist. I'm praying. I have a higher power God that I do believe in and have faith in. I am journaling. I use that tool like nobody's business to sort through the crazy up here, to create my first drafts, to find what is truth and what is fear to really dig into what am I feeling right now, to be mindful, to check in with myself. And as I choose to be the buffalo, I'm also saying no to things that I normally do. Then things that are normally really easy to me are no longer easy right now in this season of life. As I'm grieving my dad's uh, sudden death and I'm, I'm grieving other things um, that I was dealing with before that. So it's just a lot. And so to say I'm being the buffalo, is really powerful in a moment like this for me where I'm saying I'm choosing to show up. I'm choosing to ask for help when I need it. I'm choosing to find the people that are two steps ahead and say, hey, I need you. Um, I'm taking people up on their offers and uh, doing the things that I don't normally say yes and no to. So be the buffalo. What does that mean for you? Take a minute. 30 seconds, whatever you need, and think, what am I doing in my life right now to be the buffalo? Or am I being the cow? And I've absolutely been the cow. I fully admit that. Um, but I'm I'm proud to say I am the buffalo. And I am I have that painting in my bathroom to remind me every morning to show up. Every morning. I don't have to do it big. I don't have to do... I don't have to be the best. I don't have to be all the things. I just need to show up and that's all you need to do. So, um, be the buffalo. <laughs>